Yes! Here comes a new challenger! Team Beardman vs. Symphony! Give it your best in this epic battle of fate! Welcome to the first episode of our brand new show, Here Comes a New Challenger. Now on this show, we're not exactly focusing on completing games. We are going to try our best to complete these brand new games in a few days sitting. However, the big emphasis is this, whether or not it is worth your hard-earned money, that dinero, that dinero, moolah, moolah, whether it's, not, it's worth to use that money on a brand new game, whether it be an indie game, or a brand new AAA title, we're gonna do it right here for you guys. And keep in mind, it's not gonna be exactly like The Completionist. We're going for a more serious review tone. You know, it's not gonna be nearly as funny. So don't laugh. Today's challenger is an indie game called Symphony, developed by Empty Clip Studios. I chose to do this game first because one of my earliest experiences in gaming stemmed from the top-down shooter classics such as Asteroids and Galaga, and as I grew up, I really enjoyed listening to music while I gamed. So what if I could play a shoot-'em-up that creates enemies to the music that I want to listen to? Voila! You have Symphony! Now being a pretty seasoned gamer, I know what I want when it comes to shoot 'em ups Power-ups, bombs, tons of enemies, chaos, and monstrous replay value. When I first heard about Symphony, I was incredibly ecstatic, but I was also off-put to its concept because of other games that existed already, such as Beat Hazard and Audio Surf. Now Audio Surf is more of a rhythmic Tetris kind of game, whereas Beat Hazard actually sounds very similar to what Symphony is, a shoot 'em up that is heavily determined by your music library. Although I have played both Beat Hazard and Audio Surf, the presentation in Beat Hazard could possibly induce someone into having a seizure. I'm pretty sure you were just exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, look at the pretty colors. <laughs> Now before we dive into the story, I'm letting everyone know right now that one of the key elements to having a great time playing this game stems from your own music library. For the purpose of this review, all of the levels and the music you see me playing come from the Mega Man X series, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Donkey Kong Country 2 video games. However, I'm not using the actual licensed tracks. I am using some of the best musical remixes for video games that come from ocremix.org and its community. Some of the best video game remixes come from this website, and I have to thank them because the music they provide makes the game that much more enjoyable. If you haven't checked them out, please do so, you will not regret it. The story in Symphony is an interesting take on the shoot 'em up genre. Apparently there is an evil entity that has invaded all of your music. You must listen to your music and destroy all that evilness that exists. How does one do that? With an awesome spaceship that you use to battle all the evil that comes at you? The ultimate demon has captured five of your composers and is becoming stronger just by having them. Your goal is to fight off the many demon soldiers and free the composers and your music. Visually, Symphony's tone in my interpretation is full of ease, mystery, and excitement. From the menus and the interface, you can tell there's something different about this game in a great way. The calming music mixed with the easy to use interface creates a wonderful starting presence to get you geared up for whatever lies ahead. The in-game graphics are simplistic yet easy, not too difficult on the eyes, really wonderful visuals that look incredibly polished, and you'll be able to really get out of any situation as long as you're focused on the chaotic rush and what's going on. I admit, tuning out is not the best thing to do during the game, considering you'll be seeing a lot of shapes and colors flying at you. Before you begin your liberating crusade for music, you'll be asked to add your own music to the game. If you want, you can literally add all the music on your computer. But I enjoyed focusing on the few albums that I actually wanted to listen to because if you add all of your music, you'll flood the entire interface with too many levels. After you've imported your music, you're ready to go. Starting out, you can only choose between two difficulties, but we'll get into that later. From there, you can pick any of the songs you've imported and enjoy. All you have to do is use your mouse to guide your ship around the arena, killing the musical baddies, and collect musical notes known as inspirations. Fancy! Your goal per level is to reach the two high scores of inspiration points before the song is over. 
If your goal is met, you will be given more bonus inspiration as well as another form of currency called kudos. Once you beat the level, you will unlock a new weapon to add on to your ship. Kudos and inspiration are used to upgrade your weapons for your ship. The more levels you complete, the more weapons you can unlock. You'll find early on that the weapon spawns are kind of random, so you'll actually have an overabundance of all these different weapons that you won't necessarily use. Every now and then you can unlock a rare form of weapon with the root word FURIA. These are special upgraded versions of the weapons you may already have, but they're incredibly powerful, and by the end of the game, you can max these out as well. Your ship gets four different guns that you can customize based on what weapon you've got in your inventory and the direction. You can also decide on how these weapons fire, left click, right click, or just auto fire, which I found to be the most relaxing and enjoyable. My biggest gripe with Symphony in regards to gameplay is the lack of different support for controllers. Personally, I enjoy using a gamepad or keyboard to control my spaceships in most shoot 'em ups. I reached out to Empty Clip Studios, and this is what they had to say. Currently, the only control scheme is the mouse, but you can use Joy 2 Key or any other popular mouse to controller pieces of software to take care of the situation. In the Steam forums, a bunch of the community members have already given recommendations to other people. We do offer native support, but honestly, when you compare the two control schemes, the mouse really grew the experience in terms of being able to control very precise movements for the ship. That being said, support for a native controller, which will be the Xbox 360 controller, is in the works. At random, halfway through playing a stage, you'll encounter a demon, which is a boss fight. Killing these demons is quite fun and challenging as the game gets harder. Each time you kill a demon, you unlock one of three pieces required to unlock the next difficulty as it opens up the symphony. There's five different pages of the symphony, meaning there's 15 bosses to fight at random. Mind you, the game gets harder with each fight. With this, you also unlock more and more diverse enemies, making the replay value of this game go through the roof. And the difficulty jump is huge, so make sure you've really maxed out your equipment in order to keep up. Psh, you're telling me? The boss fights are so difficult, especially the final boss fights. Somehow, the guys who made Symphony got the licensing rights to Nickelodeon's Legends of the Hidden Temple. Bring it on, All Mac! When you first start battling me, I'm going to shoot fireballs at you. And then I will disappear and reappear in random places. And then you'll enter the Shrine of the Silver Monkey! I was pleasantly surprised how fun and addicting Symphony can be. As I said before, a lot of my experience was determined by the fantastic music that I had, making each track I played a more exciting experience than the previous ones. With great enemy designs, a rising difficulty curve, and the customizable ship options, the game is consistently changing and challenging you at the same time. And the best part is, your musical library will determine how long and different your experience can be. Aside from lack of customization of controls, this game is definitely worth a look. Overall, this game met all of our expectations and then some. That's why this game gets our rating of... Buy it. Symphony is available now for $10 on Steam for the Windows platform. Well guys, that just wraps up our first episode of Here Comes a New Challenger. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below and suggest new games that are coming out soon. Whether it's next week, a few months from now, who knows? We might choose your game. Mm -hmm. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to stay tuned next week for our next episode of The Completionist. Now if you excuse us, we're going to rock out to some awesome music while blowing stuff up! Yes! 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 Oh, Expendables 2, go see it! Yes! Actually, I just want to see stuff blown up. So that would make, that would make yeah, sense. Yeah, that's so it's the, still, it's still good. That, that's yeah. viable. Yeah, it's still...